Uh, guys, I got to be honest. I'm a little upset with you. Not to start things off too controversial. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I knew the album was delayed, but yeah. you know, you, you finally put a release date on it, but I was hoping we were going to break that news today huh? on Go 96.3, <laughs> but you did it like three days ago. Come, yeah, could yeah. you not have held off like a little bit? <laughs> Sorry. We could, what can we release here today? Yeah, do you have any Why type of like breaking news? Tidbits. What tidbits you got over there? I got nothing. Got Pete nothing? and Andy you got, from Follow Boy, you guys got any tip? Pete, what'd you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, I have not even gotten to eat yet. I got off our bus... Uh, because I got my kids out on tour with me at McDonald's at the rest stop and asked the lovely woman there whether we were in Minnesota or not and she laughed at me. You we heard were, it here because first. We were, in Wisconsin, we were in Wisconsin. She was like, it's pretty funny you don't know what state you're in. <laughs> when follow news, uh, follow boy news breaks, uh, we're the ones that catch it. Go 96.3. But no, uh, but, uh, so the album was delayed and you now have a release date for it. You know, it was on your deal you guys wanted to you yeah. know make sure you got it right and i respect that you yeah. know it's not like you can just be like yeah good enough but nah, good enough is like i feel like we can kind of like make any album but good enough is not is like the one we can't make mm -hmm. i feel like you know what i mean like yeah. mediocre yeah. like i don't know it just doesn't feel like it feels like in 2017 there's room for like a lot of different ideas and stuff but just like so so is not one of them mm -mm. and i respect that about you guys because you you know you could just you know be like Sugar, we're going down again. You yeah. know, like, <laughs> you, 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 you could just like, you know, like fall back on, you know, the old school, you know, just your legacy. But you guys, I feel like every time I hear a new Follow Boy song, it's like, I've never heard a Follow Boy song like that before. Yeah. So you guys keep reinventing your sound. And is that important to you guys? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think that we made the decision. We kind of had the, the luck or of, of our first record wasn't like a mainstream album so we changed on the you know on from under the cork tree and then we changed from there on and um yeah because for me like bands like the clash or bowie or something like that they like changed and like it's hard at the time when they change but then like when you're like 30 you're like oh yeah i can like listen to this because yeah. you like <laughs> adapted yourself you know what i mean you evolved how would you describe the sound of this album oh that was a question to you i believe Whoa. Whoever wants to answer. I don't want you to be left out either. And Andy, yeah, when you're seeing the Behind the Kid and you're hearing these songs, what do, what do you feel? I feel like it kind of navigates around a lot of different musical territories. I think there's definitely a through line from, you know, the last album, uh, American Beauty, and even before that. It has, like, a lot of the DNA. I think Last of the Real Ones is, like, a future version of maybe what we used to be, but still totally different but i feel like every song is kind of its own thing in a way so it's hard for me to say it sounds like one 